guys, Tom Voice 601, and welcome to Project CW, uh, Wargaming's newest creation and tank game, and one that has been entertaining me a lot. The vehicle we're taking out today with slash commander we're taking out is Ray. It is the final tank that you can pick up on the Alpha Battle Pass, and let me just say, it is very interesting. One thing to note, just a little disclosure, this is my first match in this tank, so I'm sort of figuring it out. I don't know if you can tell, but, uh, well, it's an M1 Abrams, but the gun is slightly different. It's a rail gun. Um, and in fact, the way you have to play it is very unique. Basically, you press the fire button and it begins charging the coils, the electro battery, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and there are three levels of charge. There's the basic one, there's like double charge, and then there's overcharge slash triple charge. Uh, if you get your way all the way to the overcharge, it starts doing damage to you yourself. Um, but each time, each level increases the damage done when you fire, which is a pretty fun gimmick overall. Uh, the game mode we are currently playing is capture the base or capture the single point. It's 5v5. We're taking up a point to sort of watch over uh, where we think that enemies are going to try and uh, harass our teammates slash we want to get in a place where we can overlook the point. Our team has done a very good job. We weren't the first ones to cap the point, but we're doing a good job of holding on to it. One of the things I have to say uh, I don't really like about this game uh, in this game mode is the style in which they, they've they chosen to do these capture the points. Uh, when you have a point, it contiguously counts up points even if there's an enemy within. So... Uh, just contesting the area isn't going to benefit you. You really, really need to clear the whole post of the enemies uh, in order to get any sort of benefit. Anyways, we've made it to what will be our final position over here. You can see we have this excellent overview of our team, but more importantly, uh, you'll see we have a pretty good view of anyone who's going to need to cross over into it. And now we can start playing the cha-cha slide of this game. You can see we're basically waiting for us to get up to overcharge, firing it, and then doing some pretty significant damage. Uh, if you haven't played yet, you can see we just did 1,200 damage to that, that enemy tank over there. Uh, we have 1,100 hit points uh, total right now. We probably have about 1,200 when we're totally healed. That shot would have killed us uh, if, if we... Hadn't been careful. Okay, so we have 1,400, so we're not quite there, but still, uh, that is a very powerful shot. Most, I think the upper limit of tanks right now is 2,800. So this is a this is a platform, this is a system that can do two hits, two hit kills, which is absolutely nasty. Um, you're gonna see us just trying to basically cycle this weapon as much as we can. We fire around and we immediately begin charging. Um, my thought process on that is, you know, we need to be ready to fire at all times. Uh, we are within sort of the spawn protection zone of our own of our own area. Uh, we have an excellent overlook as far as the area that they would pop out of from their spawn if they wanted uh, to engage us. So we have a pretty good overlook here. And even if we're not getting huge kills, if we're able to take a quarter half of the enemy health before they arrive at the rest of our team, we are going to be very instrumental in uh, in helping ensure our team's victory. And as you can see, we're already, what, 60% of the way there, 70% of the way there. We are doing a fairly good job. Uh, and it's pretty fun to be able to play this sort of uh, pop out ambush and then hide right, right behind the rock. Uh, this is, this is definitely the play style that this tank enjoys. Um, I will say, uh, I got stuck into several uh, bomb game mode games with this, and it was absolutely miserable. So uh, good luck if you end up getting in a bomb game mode, but I think right here, this is pretty much perfectly what this, what this tank is designed for, what it's 
what the whole mission is. Um, as far as what the abilities are of the vehicle, you can see we only have one other uh, ability, and it's a smoke screen. We actually have two smoke screens uh, with this with this vehicle. The base trait slash ability of the hero is that if you get hit, you deploy a smoke screen that unmarks you. So you have basically two smoke screens to get out of jail. Uh, we do have a very, very low amount of hit points. So it makes sense that they want the ability for this tank to be able to disengage at its will. But guys, that's, that's Ray. And that is a uh, quick little match to show you what's going on. We ended up pay taking third place on our team there. We'll take it. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.